Hi, my name is Puneet Gambhir and you are listening to me on Expert Speak series of Jigsaw Academy. So when I think about uh, e-commerce and analytics, uh, the great thing is that analytics fits beautifully into this industry. Uh, e-commerce is an industry which uh, runs and which thrives on data. One, there is so much of data available because of how uh, uh, the, the industry is. And second, because it's a very new age industry, it's, uh, it's founded by people who are uh, uh, you know, relatively uh, uh, you know, more data oriented in nature, I would say. Uh, most of the professionals you would find these companies are very, very data savvy. And uh, the importance of analytics is kind of a you know, given in, in such a scenario. So uh, you add to that the fact that e-commerce is a growing industry, it's evolving, there are so many new things happening, technologies are changing, more and more people are starting to come online and starting to shop online. So there's a lot to be done, there's a lot of evolution, and uh, there are a lot of decisions to be made, there are a lot of new products to be developed, all these places where analytics you know, is, is an important uh, function to have. So the, what adds to the whole excitement is the fact that it's not just a back-end support function, but analytics is one of the driving forces of e-commerce which will take it places. So that I think is wonderful and as, uh, as an analyst working in e-commerce, you cannot ask for a better working experience. So as an analytics enthusiast, here are some tips that I can offer to you. One, analytics is not just about uh, statistical modeling and uh, you know all those kind of uh, uh, deep concepts. It's also about understanding business. It's also about understanding how things work and how analytics kind of integrate with that. Second point which I would want to stress is that uh, uh, it's a field where you never stop learning. I mean, it, we talk about things like regression, clustering and those kind of concepts. Uh, and sometimes we kind of just run through them in a couple of weeks, but they are so deep in concepts and theories that if you really want to understand them well, you have to go through a fairly long cycle of learning them, applying them, using them, and then eventually mastering them. So it's a very long journey and uh, uh, it will evolve over time and your learning will never stop. So it's not that you know you, you learn, you get into it, and then you are done. It's, it's something which you just need to continuously do for the rest of your life, so be prepared for that. So if you are a beginner in analytics, I would uh, suggest you a few things that you, know, you, you should be prepared with. One, uh, you need to have your technical uh, 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 skill set ready. And when I say that, I specifically mean one, uh, understanding of uh, databases and ability to, uh, uh, you should be very, very comfortable with data basically. Whatever programming language you use is actually immaterial, but you should be very comfortable with programming, extracting data, cleaning it, and, and things like those. Second, have a good foundation of statistics and techniques that you can learn. You don't need to learn hundreds of techniques. You just need to go through that uh, a drill of, you know, uh, having a knack to understand statistics and how modeling and things like those work. Uh, that should be good enough to get you started. And then the third part would be to get uh, some understanding of the industry because that always helps you to uh, do better in interviews, have more relevant uh, uh, solutions when you are you know, attending those interviews. And uh, that can be built by uh, uh, doing case studies, going through courses, which allows you to uh, get more familiar with how the domain works, and then you pick it up from there. So talking about uh, skills required to you know, do well in, in uh, e-commerce analytics. See, there are some uh, uh, foundation, foundational skills which as an analyst you always need to have. Uh, technical skills, for example. And uh, uh, technical skills not restricted to, let's say, just uh, 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 SQL or a SAS kind of a skill, but also understanding of big data, understanding of click stream systems, because it's, it's very, very uh, heavily uh, relevant to e-commerce. But apart from that, uh, understanding of the e-commerce ecosystem, uh, and when I say e-commerce eco e ecosystem, it not just means uh, uh, the front-end uh, interaction of consumers and websites, not, not just that, but also the complete supply chain, operations, consumer experience, that holistic understanding is required uh, because things are so fast moving and are changing at such a fast rate that if you are not in uh, touch with all those uh, you know, uh, components of e-commerce, you are likely to lag behind. So apart from technical skills, ability to solve problems, 
with respect to what's happening around in the industry is is one of the key skills so to me what separates uh, you know a great analyst from a good analyst uh, there are a couple of things uh, see uh, technical skills and statistical skills they are they are absolutely basic uh, you just need them all the time to do well in analytics so there is there's no compromise there's no differentiation on them uh, analysts who are great they go uh, they they do develop couple of additional skill sets i would say one skill set to uh, integrate themselves very very closely with the business so if you are an analyst and let's say you are sitting along with business leaders or people who work in product engineering you should be comfortable there you should not be somebody who just understand analytics and finds it difficult to relate to all the other uh, functions which exist in the company that you work for because at the end of the day analytics is to solve problems for those functions so that's point 1 point 2 is that the analyst should also have uh, a very sound uh, uh, communication and presentation skills and that is extremely important in today's world because analytics is uh, at the end of the day a fairly technical field and uh, you might be doing a great job as an analyst uh, your your models might be statistically very accurate and you know all all that jazz but uh, uh, if you are not able to explain them well to an audience who is not from analytics there can be a lot of situations where your work doesn't get the right uh, uh, you know it, it doesn't reaches the right audience or it doesn't generate the same impact as it should be so a great analyst is aware of this uh, this gap and has great communication and you know what what is called storytelling skills to bridge that gap between what analytics does and what people know about it so for me those are the two big differentiators which you know sets apart an analyst so e-commerce is an industry which is evolving all the time i mean there are so many concepts which exist today which uh, people would not have anticipated let's say 5 years back now you know there are talks about uh, for example drones doing deliveries in in america and who knows in other countries as well so it's very difficult to uh, predict what will happen in a longer frame of time or what all things will evolve over a longer period of time but one thing is for sure that it's a it's an industry which is very fast moving things are changing very quickly technologies are evolving very quickly it's uh, so closely related to the whole uh, you know evolution which is anyways happening towards uh, a smartphone technology artificial intelligence uh, you know those kind of concepts and uh, therefore it makes uh, it very very uh, dynamic place to be at so as somebody in analytics you not only need to be good at doing analytics you also need to be good at adapting to how things around you are changing because that will make your work that will make your analysis or whatever models you are building more relevant to uh, stuff which is happening around